Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Final Cut Help. Today, we're going to be tackling a common problem. Now, it's not a problem we like to admit to having, but you're going to have footage that was shot on the wrong white balance setting. Maybe you were running gun, maybe you were indoors and then stepped outdoors for a quick shot and you forgot to re-white balance. Now, this happens, and it's usually embarrassing, but you can quickly fix it and hopefully do so before the client walks in and looks at the footage. Let's see how to do it. I've got a shot here uh, that is the wrong white balance, and you see it's just really, really blue. That's okay. Let's go ahead and select that and choose Effects, Video Filter, Color Correction, Color Corrector 3-Way. Let's double click to load that up, and there's the tab. Now, what's happening here is we have our blacks, mids, and whites. And after the fact, with the three-way color corrector, you can do a digital white balance. It would still be best to shoot it the right way to begin with, but if you've got some footage that was not properly white balanced, you can do it afterwards with the three-way color corrector. Let's see how. I'm going to grab the eyedropper here and find something that should be white in the particular scene. Now, I'm going to click here and then click on the shot and take a look. And that was pretty good. Notice it did a good job, but in fact, it doesn't look like I clicked on something that was perfectly white. Rather, it was sort of a yellowish, creamy off-white for the color of the wagon. But the sign looks like it should be a pure white, so we'll just simply click Reset here. Go on over to Numeric and click the red X to reset it. And then back to Visual. Grab the eyedropper, and we're going to do an Auto Balance. Click on the white area, and that looks better. Now, that put a lot of reds and yellows back into that scene to warm it up. That's fine, and it did well in the white area, but we really need to do a black balance here as well to get rid of that color cast. Fixing the white fixed the most prevalent problem, but you're going to need to push those other two color wheels towards the same direction to really compensate here. Let's grab the eyedropper and go to something that should be black, but isn't quite black, like this shadow. And notice there, it too pushed it towards the yellow. I'm going to move that a little bit closer, and as I drag there, you see that it warms it up properly, and that shot is looking much better. Let's finish this out in the midtones, and we'll just push it up towards that same marker point, and that looks a lot better. I'll open up the middle slider to open up the brightness value, pull down the whites, and we've got a pretty good shot. Instead of toggling the effect off and on, we can get a better before and after using the Frame Viewer. Simply go up to the Tools menu and choose Frame Viewer. This allows you to see the current edit, or current frame, along with the current frame without filters. And you can get a nice vertical split or a horizontal split, as well as reposition this so you can see what's happening. And you see there, we covered quite a bit of ground in getting this back to a proper look. We can continue to refine this shot and do some additional secondary color correction, but we've already compensated for the issue of being on the wrong filter and wrong white balance, so it's looking a lot better. Now that we've fixed that, let's store this so we can reuse it on other shots. I'll double click to load the shot and simply go to the color corrector three-way and drag it down to the bin. And we'll name this. We'll call this three-way blue balance. And what we've done there is stored the effect for reuse. Now, when I come across another scene that has the same sort of problems, I could just drag that and reuse it, and the shot is fixed. Also, if you've got a few shots in a row, you'll see up here in the viewer a little one and a two. This allows you to copy the filter to the next one or two shots after it, making it really easy to do an auto fix like we did there. My name's Rich Harrington. I hope you enjoyed this week's show. It's brought to you by creativecow.net. Be sure to head on over to their website where you'll find great online forums as well as a ton of new tutorials. Plus, if you'd like some hands-on practice, you could download the project files from this week's lesson. Be sure to check it out. And thanks again for joining us.